Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show, I'm your host Definition, and you're now on the upside down to the spoiler free side of YouTube. As voted by you, throughout this video we're going to be breaking down everything we know about the upcoming season of Stranger Things. This will be covering the potential release date, casting news, story details, and our fan theories on what could be happening in the show. There may be some spoilers here, so if you don't want anything about the season potentially ruined, then I highly recommend that you go through the doorway and check out of the video now. Without the way, thank you for clicking this, now let's get into our breakdown of Stranger Things Season 4. Stranger Things Season 3 ended on a massive cliffhanger with lots of things up in the air. Firstly, we were unsure about Jim Hopper's fate, and secondly, we didn't have a clue whether the group would ever see each other again after the buyers moved away with Eleven. Theories were further fueled for the former due to the fact that we never actually saw Hopper die. After the machine that opened the doorway to the Upside Down exploded, Hopper's body was nowhere to be seen, and thus, the internet went wild. Though those around it were disintegrated by the explosion, when re-watching the machine go into meltdown we could clearly see that he wasn't on the walkway. He also eyed up the doorway before it all went to hell, and with the post credits scene teasing an American that was locked up, everything pointed to the character being alive. This was confirmed in February 2020 with the arrival of a full teaser trailer for the season that showed the character was indeed alive and well in Russia. We know this because of the musical cues, and also the title of the trailer itself was From Russia With Love. Not long after this, the Duffer Brothers released a statement that said the following. We're excited to officially confirm that production on Stranger Things 4 is now underway, and even more excited to announce the return of Hopper. Although it's not all good news for our American, he is imprisoned far from home in the snowy wasteland of Kamchatka. Here he will face dangers both human and other. Meanwhile, back in the States, a new horror is beginning to surface, something long buried, something that connects everything. Season 4 is shaping up to be the biggest and most frightening season yet, and we cannot wait for everyone to see more. In the meantime, pray for the American. So whilst there were theories that Brenner could indeed be the one in the cell, we now know for definite that Hopper was the American that the Russians were referring to. As for the big bad, anyone who thinks that the Mind Flayer is dead is clearly in for a big surprise. The monster that we saw destroyed in Season 3 is actually a puppet of the Mind Flayer and not the Mind Flayer itself. The only reason that the creature died at the end was because the connection between the real world and the Upside Down was cut off, and thus the Mind Flayer was unable to control its conduit any further. Though the Mind Flayer is trapped in the Upside Down currently, we do know that Russia are still trying to open portals to the plane, and therefore I doubt the villain will be down for very long. So the antagonist will be back, and back with a vengeance. We also know that the Russians have managed to capture a Demogorgon. As we see from the Season 4 trailer, the base is still standing, so it looks like they've been successful in their experiments to the Upside Down. They will likely continue these, and who knows, we may even get another monster in the season. In addition to this, the teaser trailer that was released before the aforementioned one was crammed with easter eggs that I think will make a big appearance in the first episode of the new season. Firstly, to the right of the logo, you can see a sign for Hawkins, which shows that the Upside Down is slowly morphing into the area even more. This could explain how Hopper was able to survive down there for so long, as if the area is changing then the atmosphere will go along with it. In addition to this, just to the left behind the sign, we can also make out a small cabin with a candle beside it. This is likely the shelter where the character lived during his time in the area, and the fact that he has a home shows that he was down there for a long time. It's very Yoda-like, and Empire Strikes Back was a massive movie in the 80s, and well still is, and I think this little easter egg is a nostalgic nod to that film and Dagobah. On top of all this, we also have a good indicator of when the fourth season will be releasing. If you look to the left hand side of the sign, you will see a clock which is set to 12.30. In the finale, there was lip service paid to the characters reuniting at Christmas, and this does seem to fit in line with that, or rather around that time. Though we don't know the exact release date of the show just yet, the 12.30 to me means the 30th of December. This is a big time for Netflix as many people are off over the holidays and the streaming giant will likely launch it at a time where they'll get large audience numbers. I can't see any other reason why they would place the clock here like this, so it does make a lot of sense. 
In the past, the show has always released on special holidays, such as Halloween and the 4th of July, so this being sandwiched between Christmas and New Year would line up with that schedule. Along with Christmas, the characters in the finale did mention Thanksgiving, but I can see this being more of a journey for Mike who will go and see Eleven and the Buyers. I think that after this, the Buyers and Eleven will return to Hawkins for Christmas and this will be where most of the season is set. Hawkins is just the best place to set the show for me and I think it makes the most sense of what we know so far. So yes, Christmas seems like the best bet for the setting of season 4. During an interview with In Poland, Cara Buono who stars as Karen Wheeler stated that season 4 started shooting in October last year. The show thus far has had a roughly 15 month production schedule with the third season starting in April 2018 before launching in July the following year. The 30th of December does line up with their schedules and regular release times so it makes a ton of sense for the season to drop then. Of course let me know your theories below but I can't really come up with any other thing that the clock could be. In addition to this, we do know that the first episode of season 4 will be called The Hellfire Club. The Hellfire Club has been a name throughout history that's been repurposed for several exclusive groups. It's appeared in tons of comic books, TV shows and a lot more over the years, but it originates all the way back in Britain during the 18th century. The name was used to refer to the Order of Friars back then, but now it takes on a completely different meaning. Its most famous use at the moment is in the X-Men franchise, most notably the Dark Phoenix Saga in which the club attempted to get Jean Grey to join them. Eleven is of course blessed with telekinetic powers similar to Jean and both characters can move things with their mind. Jean got increasingly more powerful throughout the Dark Phoenix saga whereas when we last saw Eleven she was actually struggling to use her abilities. Could it be that the Hellfire Club promise Eleven that they can help to get her powers back? Well, I'm actually starting to think so. Now it could be possible that this name could also mean a number of things, from Russians to the group themselves, but that is the aesthetic that I think will be most likely. The Duffer brothers did say that the club was looking for more members, so it really could represent a number of things. Now before we get into the more solid aspects of things that we know, rather than just the theories, I want to let you know we're giving away a free copy of the Infinity Saga box set to one random subscriber. All you have to do to be in with a chance of winning is like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave your thoughts on the updates in the comments section below. The winner is going to be chosen at random on the 15th of March and the set will be shipped out from then to whoever gets the prize, so best of luck to everyone who takes part. Anyway, according to the Duffer Brothers, the season will be influenced by five specific films. In the writers room, they stated that they'd been looking over the following. The Peanut Butter Solution, The Fisher King, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, You've Got Mail and Ordinary People. Why this is interesting is because the majority of these were actually released during the 90s. Due to the cast aging, it is possible that the season itself could be the first one set during the decade. You've Got Mail could be a reference to Eleven and Mike's relationship and there really is a ton of things that we can pull from these titles. According to Games Radar, the show will also have 8 episodes which is in line with the previous seasons. As for the cast, the main regulars including Finn Wolfhard, Millie Bobby Brown, David Harbour and Winona Ryder are all returning. However, Dacre Montgomery has not been announced as being in the show so it is unlikely that he will be back even in a flashback. Brett Gelman is also back as Murray Borman and rumours are circulating that Paul Reiser will be returning as Dr Sam Owens. Maya Hawke is too coming back as Robin and the actor said that she was excited to see where things would evolve in the video store. The show is of course famous for featuring 80s icons such as Winona Ryder, Matthew Modine, Sean Astin and a lot more so who knows who could pop up this time. There are rumours that Ethan Hawke aka Maya Hawke's father could be popping up as her dad in the show and there's a ton of things out there that range from Molly Ringwald all the way to Matthew Broderick. All in all there's heaps to look forward to and hopefully this video has given you a wealth of things to speculate over whilst we wait for the release of the show at some point later this year. Obviously I'd love to hear your thoughts on Stranger Things 4 and what you think will happen in the series. Comment below and let me know and if you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and make sure you check out our full breakdown of the ending of HBO's The Outsider which is going to be linked at the end. We go over the finale of the season so it's definitely worth checking out if you want to know more. If you want to support the channel from as little as 99 cents a month then please click the join button below. We massively appreciate it and as a thank you you get access to content early. If you want to come chat to us after the show either follow us at Definition YT or click the discord link in the description below. Those are the best ways to keep up to date with heavy spoilers so hopefully we see you over there very soon.
This is a channel for people who are never missing television, so if that's the kind of thing you like, you need to subscribe to Definition. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this. You've been the best and I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.